Hey there. The dog's super mad that he's inside and we're outside, but I don't care. I have to share with you these super fun garlic. We have planted garlic previously. It was garlic we got at the feed and seed store in our town. And I left the garlic on the table, I think, for too long. And when we planted them, they did good and then they all died. So we wanted garlic. We had an idea of something. Um, my honey has seen something online of another way to try to get garlic that you buy at the store to root so that you can then plant it. And let me share with you how awesome this has turned out. We took two soda bottles and we cut a hole in the soda bottle. We filled it then with water so you've got to make sure you have, keep your cap so you can put your cap back on. You fill it with water all the way up to the whole area. And then you just put your little bulb of garlic right on top of there and you let it sit. And look at the roots. This one here actually rooted first and shot off its green shoots pretty quickly. The one next to it we thought was just going to be a dud and a failure, but surprisingly it also ended up rooting and shooting up some of the shoots. So now they're big enough and tall enough. I think we are going to try to separate them and we're going to plant them in an in-ground garden bed here in our backyard garden. Okay, so this is the bed that the yellow onions grew in and they grew really well here so we want to plant in here again. The bed behind you is where we had the garlic last and they died. They did not do well. So we're going to try this bed. We mixed in some store-bought soil with our current land soil and then we have some 10-10-10 that we mixed in and just kind of churned it all around to make its own happy garden bed. Here's the garlic out of the bottles. So I just need to be able to pull them apart and then plant them as individuals. Now your planting depth for garlic is twice the seed. So I'm going about two inches down. We have planted rows of garlic. Not quite three rows worth. We just barely got started on this middle row. But I'm excited. I can't wait to see how it turns out. All right, for those of you that have been following along, here is a chicken coop update. The main thing that we did today was the top structure. So it's going to have a roof, but it's only going to have a roof on this back end over here. That's like where the chicken house, the chicken coop, the nesting boxes, that's where they're going to be for their safety, for their little home. Um, the bottom is going to be open for them so that if it's daytime and they want some shade, they can go underneath. And then the front section is going to be just like a big, a big like screened in porch for them. Now on the front here, I plan to create a door. That's the next step in our process. I'm going to look up a few things on the best way to maybe have a door on here. I really have my game plan set in my head of how we're going to do it. 
um, Mike and I agree on it, but I want to make sure I check my measurements. And then on the inside, this top portion right here is where I plan to have the little door for my chickens to enter and exit their safe home. And in my head, I know exactly how I want it to be, but I'm not sure about the measurements. So I'm gonna get some measurements today. And tomorrow, we plan on just putting a support board across the top here, and that's what I'll be able to attach the little chicken flappy door to. And then the front section here is where we'll have our door to enter and exit. It's hot today, like super hot. Um, let's see how hot it is. Well, now I feel like a big baby. It's not that hot. It's only 93, feels like 93. Uh, we've had some 103, feels like 115. So this, uh, I'm just being a, a wuss. Ah! Okay, so there's my chicken coop. I'm super excited about it. What do you think about it? Also, what do you think about my garlic? Do you think they're going to actually grow? Do you think they're actually going to live this time? Or is it too hot for me to be planting garlic? It's always an experiment. We're always learning from the things that we're doing. But always doing something is better than doing nothing. I hope that you are doing something. If you are, tell me all about what you're doing. Tell me if you have a channel I can follow. Tell me what you think about my garden or something that you want me to share about me. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I hope that you get out and do something for yourself and I'll keep you posted on my chicken coop. I'm so excited. I have some plans on how I'm gonna get chickens without paying for chickens. Maybe someone's willing to barter something with me. We'll see, but I gotta get this chicken coop done first. All right, thanks so much y'all. Have a great day.